Yeah, that's true what she said. I I watched uh, <laughs> her match uh, next to two hours and uh, she was really, really, really bad in the beginning of that set and make, as she said, short lifts and flat and mistakes. And But she overcame it and uh, won the first set 21-19 after being down 11-1. And uh, that's 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 very good of her. And second set was easy, so uh, so it, it, it was nice to see uh, Tina win uh, an easy victory. Uh, so she is 100% uh, ready tomorrow for Sina Nevada. Yeah, and uh, she also says that she knows Sina very well. Uh, you and I also have seen uh, Sina a couple of times or many times. Um, she's a good player. It's, it it will be a fight for for Baum, but also for for Sina Nevada. Definitely, it will be a good match to watch. Sina is uh, is in great shape, so. Uh, it will be fun to watch uh, who will win that one. And uh, while we wait for uh, getting this match started, let's take another question. Um, it's about one of the good golfing former players, Kennedy Jonathan. Uh, it's Antti Kuparinen from uh, Finland who's asking, what was the secret behind Kennedy Jonathan's uh, success at the top international level? Hmm. Um, and as I remember Kenneth as a player, uh, hard work. Yeah, hard work outside the court. Yeah. Um, extremely physically strong. Uh, he, he could run uh, from here to wherever he wanted and uh, he, he was so strong uh, and his uh, forearm was so strong. He could hit the shot wherever he wanted. Uh, but he, Kenneth was just so tactically, uh, tactically good because he wasn't as fast as the others. But but he was strong and uh, and, and knew where to play the right shots. And then uh, of course his, his his very big advantage was his flat game. He was brilliant in the flat. Maybe one of the maybe maybe the world's best at at that time. So. And also, he, he was also mentally strong. Yeah, very, um, yeah, exactly. Because he, he was he was fighting Peter Geller all the time in his career, yeah. and uh, and Kenneth has has always accepted that. Okay, I'm maybe not going to be Danish number one, world number one, but I can have a lot of success <laughs> as number two. Exactly, exactly. And that's uh, that's a good way to see. Christian Christian um, from Joseph who is your favorite opponent you have played uh, my favorite op uh, my favorite opponent uh, to play against or easiest to play against or uh, yeah I, I think it's easiest to play against oh tough I question but who's the biggest name you have played uh, played against oh. hey. I don't know, played against them all, but I think I played against uh Liung Da Jung Jesung, Fu Kai, Fu Monson, uh yeah, Koking Ki Tan, Setsu Van Kido. Uh you tried it all. Uh, yeah. I think I've played against them all. Have you beat some of them? Uh no. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> haven't beaten any of them. But I've yet. Um, yet. Yet. But uh, we have had some uh three setups hey! and um, hey! And we've beaten uh, <coughs> Fang and Lee from Taiwan, and we've beaten some of the the pairs outside top four. So, so that's uh, that's and a start. And you and your partner, Mas Colling, did very well the, the last time you were you were in, in Asia, as, as far as I remember. Played uh, in, in Singapore, right? Five, yeah, three. we we. We uh, got to the quarterfinal. Yeah. Uh, then we beat uh, the Suge and Gonovan in first round, and Fang Ali in second round, and then we unfortunately lost in three sets to Indo and uh, Hayakawa from Japan. So that was uh, that was fine. Quite a, quite fine result. Yeah, definitely. We, uh, we're just working hard to be even better, uh, so we can uh, so we can uh, challenge the the world's best uh, and and and. and 
hopefully soon beat uh, them as well. Robert Matuszak, Nadia Seban from Poland. Good start for those guys. 6-4 lead against Iom and Chin. And that's two players we have watched a lot the last couple of years, uh, the Polish players, Seban and Matuszak. Yeah, definitely. Maybe, maybe mainly because they're playing in the Danish league. Yeah, uh, used to play for uh, yeah, played for Gre Greve Badminton Club and uh, Team Skanska. It's called so. So, so we know them very well, and uh, so that is uh, always a joy to watch them play. questions uh, for the schedule for tomorrow go to badmintondenmark.com and uh, check it out it's not actually ready yet but um, of course we are waiting for it as you are but uh, for sure we will have a lot of interesting matches it's it's the funny period we're going into for tomorrow just uh, world-class players left in this tournament in all five categories. And tomorrow, Christian uh, sold out in the sports park here in uh, Odense. We can assume a fantastic, fantastic setup tomorrow. Yeah, that's uh, that's very, very nice to see that it's sold out. And um, but that we still have some Danes in uh, in in the draw. Uh, so that we're looking forward to, to seeing uh, Jan and Tina and. Uh, for Mons and play tomorrow. For sure, we'll have some uh, applause and support for the Danish players here in uh, in Odense. Long from Seabat. And Christian, another question from uh, Roddy Kendra from Sydney, Australia. Asking an uh, interesting question, in my opinion. Uh, what do you think badminton should do to become more popular, perhaps more popular than tennis? Yeah. That's a very difficult question, because uh, if I knew the right answer, I would, we would probably uh, do it already. We will, we will probably not be sitting here, because then we'd earn a lot of money and we'll be on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Uh, uh, First of all, I think it's uh, it, it, the badminton is very, very popular in Asia. Um, you know, it's it, it's a big, big sport out there. Uh, oh wow. I think I think the main reason is it has to be it needs to be more popular in uh, in, 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 in in the U.S. as well uh, to bring uh, the big sponsors from over there. Uh, what exactly to do is, 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 is very difficult because uh, <laughs> when you have sports in US like uh, American football and uh, baseball and uh, NFL, NHL, NHL, yeah, it's uh, it is difficult to to compete with that uh, and then see some players running around hitting to a shot with a racket. Uh, compared to um, American football, it's way different. Uh, it, it's just. Um, I, I just don't think it's uh, for the. Uh, it's just maybe not just what the, the American people wants to see. But what to do is uh, is difficult to say. Yeah. Um, and we, this badminton sport is trying a lot of things. Uh, the new scoring system were, were, were one thing, because we have had matches that were not uh, perfect for the TV setup. It was not great for the audience. Um, yeah. 
the intensity in the badminton game is better now than it was six years six years ago. Yeah, it is more. Uh, they have tried many many things, but uh, it, none of them has really worked. Uh, now we've changed the system. That's one thing. The second thing is we are sitting here speaking. Uh, yeah, um, that, that was not normal. Uh, that was not normal three, three four years ago. No. No. Uh, they have tried to make. Uh, they have actually tried to uh, to when you serve, you can make it uh, as, a, as a as a jump smash, like uh, serve like you do in tennis to see if that's more interesting. But it yeah, that doesn't work in badminton. And um, no. they have tried doing enter, um, making the system to only seven points running score and then five sets. Uh, mm. We have tried many things, but. Um, it's just difficult to make it more popular. Yeah, and the price money is also getting higher and higher. So the price money is are getting higher, but if we have to compare it to golf and uh, and tennis and uh, and those kind of sports, it's it's, it's ridiculous low in badminton. So, uh, but a lot of, lot of innovation, thoughts, innovative sports uh, for for the badminton sport for sure. Um, we know that Australia have bid for uh, Super Series and Premier Series. And that's um, that's that also in interesting in my in my mind. That will be an, uh, a fantastic thing to have uh, Australian Super Series, and, and also have a Super Series in the US, so so we can spread out uh, the badminton world class players. Because it's not that often that uh, badminton players go to uh, the world the cl world top players go to uh, uh, Australia uh, to play a tournament and. Um, that would be a fantastic thing to do, I think. Yeah, because we already have uh, Australia Open and US Open, uh, but it, it's not the hugest uh, tournament in the world. No, it's a uh, it's smaller tournaments than, than the Super Series, uh, and that doesn't attract uh, the top players. Uh, so, a Super Series in Australia would be a good start uh, to to, uh, to promote uh, the sport in uh, in other ways in other places in Asia and uh, and Europe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good save also from uh, Iom. And he's, he, he's like a, a tiny jumping ball. He is. Uh, Robert Matusiak. He's so fast and explosive. Yeah, uh, he is. A little bit like uh, Thomas Leibon, just uh, <laughs> just not as fast and not as... Uh, and, 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 a, and a bit smaller. A bit smaller, yeah, but he's not as fast and explosive as Thomas Leibon was. And he's... And his uh, on his top level. And his no, 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 oh. exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, but he's he's a good player. But um, against these two Koreans, I think uh, it's a good. He's he's playing a good style because they often want to play defense, as you see. And then he can run around and attack and uh, and uh, keep keep the pressure on them. And, at, and attack. That's what he's want to do. Yeah, he wants to get the attack and he wants to control the, the rally all the time. Um, sometimes he can be a little bit too stressed, but... Uh yeah, and it's funny because um, I'm sure you have seen, me, seen him in, in the men's doubles as well yeah. in, the, in the Danish league. And, and when he plays the men's double, it's, it's kind of stressy, as you, as you say. A because uh, the, the player, he plays... At, uh, he's, he's together with in, in the Danish league. It's not used to him uh, uh, jumping around the court all the time. Uh, Siba is, is familiar with it. She had tried it for what, like 10 years. Yeah. Um, so it's quite funny to, to watch him with, with other partners because you, you don't know actually how it's going to end up. Actually, he is uh, actually him in mixed compared to men doubles. He's, uh, he's way better in mixed. Uh, I've played him uh, a couple of times in, uh, in men's doubles and. Uh, and 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 he's, he's far more dangerous to play against in the mix because you, you don't know what's coming. <laughs> uh, so. And I'm not sure <laughs> that he himself knows uh, what's coming every time. So. <laughs> For sure, there will be a jump and a smash sometimes. Yeah. Matusha getting the work and uh, Siba getting the kill on that one. Polish support here in Odense, 2011 for Matusha and Siba.
first game for uh, Matusiak and Siva, 21-11. Clear victory here in the first game. <clears throat> And while we have this uh, break between first and the second game, uh, we have a question from Joseph Lee. He asks, what is the actual uh, actual use of the Unix cylinder that put, put, that put in the center of the court by the service judge during the intel? Um, <laughs> it's a commercial. Yeah. And that's it. Definitely a commercial. There's nothing... Uh there's nothing in it. There's nothing. Uh, you can't. You can't uh, really do anything with it. No, it is uh, only commercial, and um, yeah, you can see it's a good way to to bring out your brand. Because uh, as you see, we get a question about what it is, so people notice it. And yeah. um, here you have it on the, the left of uh, your screen, and it's also commercial for uh, for the shuttles we're using here, um, Aerosensor 50. Yeah. Shuttles. You you familiar with that uh, shuttle, Christian? Yeah, yeah, definitely. They are yes. one of the top top shuttles uh, in uh, in uh, from Yonex and, and and in the world. So they it's, a, it's a good shuttle. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. It is uh, probably the best shuttle in the world, in my opinion. Maybe the only one that's better is uh, Yonex Tournament, but uh, it's nearly the same. So. And you said uh, earlier today, Christian, that the uh, Yonex are the best, in your opinion, for uh, for rackets, yeah, and also in shuttles, I suppose, when you say like this. Yeah, yeah, in my belief, uh, it is definitely. Yonex, who is sponsor for uh, this tournament. You're tight, Christian? Uh, a bit? A little bit. My time is 10 minutes past. 10 in the evening in Denmark, just to, uh, to your information. But think about it, Christian. If you're Chinese living in Beijing, Korean living in Seoul, it's like four, four, five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and if, if they're watching this live stream, they are either working in the night or just not went to bed, I suppose. Yeah. I don't think uh, a lot of Chinese viewers uh, are out there right now. Uh, it would be another thing if they could watch uh, Wang Xingming against uh, Chen Long next to us, but. Uh, but watching a Polish pair against a Korean pair, I don't think uh, that's what the uh, Chinese Bad want to do. Badminton is the world uh, is is one of the top sports in China. It is the top sport in China. Badminton and, and table tennis. Yeah. One two. about who of the stars are ready for tomorrow and uh, I won't mention all of them but um, there's a lot of stars ready for tomorrow among others we have Saina Neval ready for tomorrow she is playing Tina Baum we have Li Cheng Wei ready for tomorrow is playing David uh, Darren Liev all Malaysian uh, match Li Xiuhui from uh, China is also ready for tomorrow. The Olympic champion from uh, London. 
and she will play uh, Juliane Schenk from uh, Germany. Germany, uh, Juliane Schenk, who has been looking very strong uh, this in this tournament. The two first matches uh, from her. We also have uh, Su Xian Majin from uh, China, top seeded in the mixed doubles. They will play the winner of our game on uh, the court right now. We also have. Uh, Chang King Sao Yun Lai in the women's doubles, the Olympic Chinese Olympic champions from uh, London. London. They will play uh, Matsuzu and uh, Naito from uh, Japan. So a lot of stars ready for the matches tomorrow. Chen Long also on his way to to the quarterfinal quarterfinals. <laughs> Chen Long winning the first uh, game against uh, Wang Ximing 21-19, leading 11-7 in the second game. And Christian 8-2 uh, lead for uh, the Polish mixed doubles uh, here in the second game. Are they the favourites for uh, for making it into uh, to the quarterfinals? Yeah, definitely. You can say with a 21-11 victory in first set and 8-2 lead in the second, you must be big favourites to uh, to to qualify for the quarterfinals. But they're also playing well today, the Polish, uh, Polish couple, and I don't think uh, the Koreans really are... Uh they're not much into it, are they? No, I don't think so. <laughs> and uh, another question is, who are the biggest name leaving the tournament today? Simon Santoso, surprised that uh, he was losing in the... Second round against Chu Shun Seng Tan from uh, Malaysia in the men's singles. Sutkat Sarah Lee, mixed doubles from uh, Indonesia, losing to Marcus Kidu, Pia Banadet, Jürgen Fischer Nielsen, Christina Pedersen, losing for Mohamed Rajal and Debbie Susanto. Uh, Peterson and Fischer was the, uh, are the defied, uh, defending champions. Here from uh, Odense, but uh, they've been struggling a, a lot with the uh, injuries uh, today. Christina Pedersen have had a surgery, and uh, and uh, Fischer and Nielsen had some back problems, and that's why they couldn't play uh, fully. And Christian, one one f thing that comes to my uh, knowledge. Uh, is that we have no Chinese men's doubles in the quarterfinal for tomorrow. Uh, no, that's surprising. Uh, Chai and Sang Long uh, 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 lost today, and that were, they were the only one left. Yeah, as we saw yesterday, Fu Haifeng and Kai Jun, they pulled out because of injury in Kai, uh, Kai Jun's uh, shoulder. So, uh, the only surprise is that Nan Xiang and Bao Chai uh, weren't able to uh, to win today. I didn't expect that. But um, I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm actually not surprised that uh, Gu Xindong and, and uh, Chen Su they already left the tournament because uh, uh, I don't think they. Uh, they are challenges to, to win this tournament. Yeah. Um, so, and then Bei Hong and Shen Ye, of course, also lost, but they have had a tough first draw against uh, Sechevan and uh, Asen, I think it was, uh, where they lost. Yeah, it was. So, so, yeah, surprise, there's no Chinese uh, mentors left, but it's also because of uh, injuries. Uh. But that does not mean that we don't have any good Couples left. Matthias Bo, Carsten Mogensen are playing Kim Salang, Kim Ki Jung from uh, Korea. Interesting setup, in uh, in my opinion, Christian, uh, shortly. Yeah, very interesting because uh, Matthias and Carsten haven't been playing that well this uh, these two first days of this tournament. Struggling a little bit finding the game, but uh, they have to find the game tomorrow if they want to beat the Koreans. Kim Kit Ko, Byung Tan against uh, Isara and uh, Young Kit from Thailand. Asan and uh, Sechewan against Endo and uh, Hayakawa. And the last quarterfinal, Hashimoto Hirata from uh, Japan against Chin and uh, Yo from uh, Hong Kong.
and I would be very surprised if uh, we don't have any Polish players in the quarterfinal for tomorrow uh, in the mixed doubles. I would be very surprised too. I think they're playing very well today and uh, keeping keeping the head cool. So uh, I, I think they will uh, cruise uh, cruise this cruise control this one home and uh, and a seven point lead. That's also a lot. Uh, in the way they, the Koreans are playing tonight. Yeah, that's a big lead right now. Yeah. yeah good shot by Shin. Yeah, sometimes it's it's great to put it down down the middle. Yeah, yeah for this to see. Sometimes you get some misunderstanding from the other cargo, and uh, that's what happened here. Yeah. And we have got uh, a question from one of our viewers who's asking, uh, is it vacation or why is there all that child children's voice in the, in the sports park uh, that late in the evening? And it's actually quite funny because it's young badminton players who are playing a young uh, youth tournament all around on the, the island of Sweden. Uh, one of the biggest tournaments for young players in uh, Europe playing uh, uh, at the same time as, um, as Jonix Denmark Open, Danish Junior Cup it's called. And, uh, Christian, fantastic that uh, players from all over Europe comes to Denmark uh, and playing uh, simultaneously, like uh, uh, with, with with this tournament here in for for the senior players. Yeah, that's great. Uh, it's, it's it's a good way to uh, to to train the the young players uh, in uh, getting experience and playing these uh, international tournaments. So uh, could, uh, I know there are many of these the junior tournaments where you go and meet other nations but this one in Denmark is special uh, especially for uh, for Danes and also special because it's it's uh, at the same time as uh, the premier tournament you know, Denmark Open and it, that means that uh, the children can go into the sports park when uh, when they're done playing and then they can watch all the stars and getting inspiration from uh, players like uh, Lee Yong Dae, uh, Chen Long or uh, whoever their idols might be. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, you can learn a lot from um, watching uh, watching the, the stars play. Uh, you don't have to play against them or, uh, or train with them. You can you, just watching them play really learns you a lot. 16-8 lead for uh, Siba. And Matushak, great uh, movement forward to the net from uh, from Siva. Yeah, and no doubt about that they understand understand each other. Though those two Polish. Yeah, they know exactly where they move, and they know exactly where where to move when when the other one moves. So, yeah, no doubt about that. to go for Matusiak and uh, Siba and Christian uh, they have played very well tonight uh, Matusiak and Siba but they will have uh, a big fight for uh, for the badminton life tomorrow against uh, Shinsu and, and Majin yeah Shinsu and Majin uh, rank room is probably the second best men's uh, mixed double pair in the world right now so 
You have to play good to play to beat those two. Match point for Chen Long on uh, court number one. Takes the victory against uh, Wang Xingming. Trains one night to and 14 Chen Long. Over. Well, that was a bad call. Yeah. 7 point Christian it's uh, it's not possible isn't it No I don't think so we've seen Mitchell like making two some easy mistakes in the end in the two last rallies so I don't think he will do that until they have 21 points the Korean <laughs> Secures the match point. Robert Matushak. Siba <laughs> with the uh, service. Uh, great, great rally from uh, Matushak. Christian. Very, very good rally. But you can see the, they're not a typical mix, the uh, Polish. They play with a lot with uh, Najesta Siba from the backcourt as well. And that uh, that gives uh, Matushak more free space to jump around <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and play his style of badminton. Sibir with the service. Not oh, not afraid to take the fight all by herself. Nadia Stasiba and uh, Christian, they can't serve six times without any fault. The Koreans, I am totally sure. Nadia Stasiba ready for the quarterfinal. They will play Su Shen Ma Jin from China, the top seed from China. They are ready after the victory against Shen and Yum. 21-11, 21-14. Stay with us. We are ready with the last match for us tonight. It's in the women's double. Augustin and uh, Mahi Swari from Indonesia against Nadelsheva and uh, Pop Stoikova from Bulgaria. It's in Bulgaria. It's in a short moment, so uh, stay with us.